Hey everyone, <laughs> so welcome to another League of Legends game, co-commentating with uh, Sarah Says I Kill You, with Hamsters, Marcus Drake, and Deathblow Master, and two random people. This is just a normal game, nothing fancy there. Um, Sarah Say Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hi everyone! <laughs> so hopefully this will be a good game. Um, we only have one, sk oh we have two skins. We have Frost Queen Janna and Spell Thief's Lux. They have three skins, so like I said before, I will vote for Bloom Team. Who's gonna win? Oh, I wonder. Yeah. With their three yeah. skins. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Even with two skins, we're still gonna win. Because Hammy's on the team. I don't know. Like Hammy's no. like, no. okay no. from what I've seen. <laughs> But um, yeah, okay. Blue team, blue someone, total. someone's a bit jealous. <laughs> so a while ago, we did a one v one. We never finished it, but um, yeah, we'll have to finish that. Uh, Hammy would have won. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 He's getting there. But uh, Deathblow Master's running. I mean, Darius. he's better than you. No. <laughs> he's better. Than you. Uh huh. Okay. So focus on the game. We have Darius top. Yeah with versus Darius, one of the most broken champs right now, because they haven't nerfed him and they just wanted to put him out there. Ezreal's going bottom with Janna, who's a random. We have a new new jungle random, and then Marcus Drake is running mid. Looks pretty standard, except bottom lane, that's interesting to me. Shen and Teemo. His name is Harry Potter 9. He's gonna win. And look at him. <laughs> He's the ninth one. He's had like mm -hmm. eight lives to practice. But it looks pretty well, good. Yeah, I don't think we've got a good chance on bot lane. Because of Shen and his stun. I don't like that. Oh, so you're saying that Hammy's not gonna win? This is what I'm hearing. No, I think Hammy's gonna win. But I just don't like Shen and his stun. Oh. And Timo and his poison. Right. Team and always mushrooms. Just Teemo in general. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's why Teemo always gets killed first. Uh, for good reason. He's the most annoying, cute character in the game. Annoyingly cute. That's what it is. Yeah. He's not annoying. Look at him. Look at him. I'm trying to look at him. If it's only cool. they had the um, bunny skin, that would be so much better. Oh, that would be. That's one skin. Oh. If I ever get money for this game, I will buy that skin. Okay, you do that. So they got a hard leash on blue. Looks pretty good. Janna disconnects. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> She's reconnected. Uh, she reconnected. Okay, so just a, a stutter. Shen is going to hop on Hammy, maybe. Oh, Hammy's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe Hammy's got this. Looks okay. Mid lane looks pretty, pretty good. Marcus Drake got a little a small poke in there. Top lane, mirror mode. Dicks is boring. <laughs> boring. Alright, not gonna watch that anymore. Back to the bottom. <laughs> nice, Janet does a nice little toss up. Some good harass. Very good harass. Oh, wow. wow. Wow, that was close. Wow, I'm completely wrong. They're gonna own. Doesn't even matter. That was really close. I'm a little upset that they didn't get the kill. I guess he didn't realize he was gonna do that much team though. Top lane pretty standard again. Nunu running around. Gangplank running around. Gangplank skipping race. Going straight to red. And Marcus Drake doing a good job mid. Going back to bottom. Pretty standard. Nothing too exciting. Who do you think is going to get the first kill? Ooh, I think actually ooh, Marcus Drake might get it. Actually, I think he might get it. Although we have initiating coming. Oh, top. Oh. Oh. Yet. Wow. Oh, now okay. Now Marcus. And I completely Drake. missed it. Yeah, now Marcus Drake got it. I was not expecting. That was close. That was very close. We had like a oh wow! Look how much health he's got. Like <laughs> he away. There's Timo. There's Shen. Hammy's might get a little bit punished, but it's no big deal. It's all right. He got pot still. They blew a few summer spells, but that was good. Um, Marcus Drake was able to secure mid. Um, top lost, but was able to push him back. So far, level three is all around for the most part. Game playing, teleporting back, probably ganking soon. Nunu is full health, which is really awesome for Nunu. 
because that's how he does. Bottom lane, Janna gets taunted, no big deal. Yeah, I don't know. I think the blue team is gonna, is gonna cut it out. Blue team's ahead by 0.2k, by 200 gold. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that's totally means that they're gonna yeah, win. That's a game that's 200 gold. gold. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Let's see how many words. <laughs> Four words. Five words. Uh, I can't do math. I used to teach math. I can't do it anymore. Shen misses his haunt. Nunu is in mid. Come on. Oh, um, they got him mid. Going back bottom. And Shen. Oh, yay! Shen's dead now. Janna plus Ezreal. Very mean. Very mean. Good toss up. Oh, missed. Oh. Weird. Okay. Back to top lane. That seems to go like straight through him too. Yeah, that was. But okay. That was um what? Okay. And right, so we have it here. It's um uh, pretty good. I mean, purple team is doing well, but I have faith in blue team. Blue team is gonna cut this out. We have gameplay coming through, but nothing's gonna happen. We can't. There's so you players. have faith in people that you've never met That's before. That's right. I do. That's what yeah. the person I Okay. Am. I believe in other. I believe in strangers. That's right. That's right. Who do you think's the best player on their on team? Their team? Uh, clearly it's mm -hmm. Darius, because, um, he knows what he's doing. He has boots already. And if you have, <laughs> if you have boots, that means you're gonna win. Simply put. I'm a fan of boots. I like boots. Like Timo, see? He has boots. I like him. Yeah, Timo. No. No. Janna with her wrist toss-ups. I should probably buy Janna one time. But anyway, Ezreal teleporting back. Nunu coming for a gank top. Mid, nothing's really happening. Nunu's setting up. Oof, no one went in. So, flashed out, nothing's gonna happen there. Bottom lane, Gangplank is pushing through. That was a really bad gank yeah. on Nunu. Yeah, Nunu missed it out. Bottom lane, nothing happened. So, even. Ezreal didn't teleport because he panicked. Uh, Nunu coming mid. Might do it again. Goes. Call. Very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Just> <laughs> earned. <laughs> Simply put, and very true. See, he comes gang playing though. Should be interesting. Gang playing will get it. Oh, he flashed in wrong. What a waste. He could have just went up and killed <laughs> Nunu. Oh wow. All right, I don't know about this blue team anymore. <laughs> oh, they ca they're going but Pam's teleporting. They might catch Janna out of position. Just by herself. Oh, Shannon showed himself. Maybe Janna didn't see? No, they did see. They did see. Flashed out. Safe. Very good. Top lane. That's awesome. Darius is going to be a problem. He is level 6 <laughs> versus level 6, but he has boots, and that makes a big difference. Hopefully Nunu will go up there and gank again. There is going back from purple team, death low. But mid's been doing a great job. Swain is not even level 6 yet. And he is already level 7. <laughs> Locking down. Flashed out, safe. Bottom lane, team low's not level 6 yet, getting there. Ezreal's about to get his ult. Gameplay came mid, nothing really happened there. Nuno's kind of walking around figuring what to do. Guess he's kind of lost. Alright, there he goes. Good wards from both teams. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, wow. Blue team is down by 1.1 gold. That's not cool. And three kills. And, well, yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Blue team's got this. Kills don't mean a thing. It's just towers. Only towers. Nunu's walking through. They're going to see him through the ward. Let's see if they pay attention. They do. Well... <laughs> Top lane's pushing. Nunu did his ult. <laughs> got cancelled when Shen taunted. And right. He got a nice push there. Oh wow, I missed it. I missed it. Ultimate from... Hamsters with Ezreal ult. Kills a poor little Teemo. Look at that Teemo. Right under his tower too. That was Game awesome. Gameplay's jungle. Gameplay's not too happy about that. Gives him a slight chase. We'll see if anyone supports this. 
No support from either side. Not yet. Not yet. Darius coming down middle. Nothing happens there. Back to Nunu. Nunu versus Gangplank. Jenna comes in. This should be a pretty easy win to kill Shen. Oh. Maybe. Yes? Yes. Good kill. I mean, terrible. Oh my goodness, blue team. <laughs> Come on, get Gam complaint too. Go happy. He might grab Nunu. He might grab Nunu. Yes, he does. He grabs Nunu. That's right. Good job. Good job, Timo. Kill that game. Not game plan. Kill that Nunu. <laughs> uh, floppy alt from Gangplank. I'm gonna get killed by the uh. red buff blizzard. Mid lane, Hammy. Come in mid lane. No. Mid -lane. No. Dies. Right, good Timo. And top lane. Bad team. Naughty team. <laughs> uh, and Hamster's picked up another kill. With support from Lux, but no assists. Ah, <laughs> uh, team with blue rune. It's pretty good. Top lane. Boring as ever. Right. Not looking at that anymore. <laughs> Back to bottom lane. Okay, pushing up. They're pretty Ooh. even. Yeah, that's yeah, that's like a heavy mirror mode. That's like watching two Aurelios. Not interesting whatsoever. Anuni needs to go up there and gank! Yeah. I wanna see that other one die. The other what one? Oh, the other Darius? Yeah, we'll see yeah. how it goes. He's grabbing red rune. So now he has red. Bottom's getting pushed. Taking damage. Timo's finally hitting the tower. Shen's been working on it for a little bit. Nuno is on his way over. I'll leave you this commentary. Um, no. Oh, what's he doing? Why is he going back? I guess because he, he, he knew you um, were commentating, so he had not so much worth it. Mid lane. Yeah. Uh, he's just waiting yeah, for me. Nothing happening back to bottom lane. That's exciting. Oh, well, Nunu's might gank middle. Oh, gangplank! Two things happening at the same time bottom and mid lane. Can't keep track of both. A lot of action both ends. Wow. Oh, nice. One for one in mid lane, nothing bottom lane, but the momentum's going towards purple team. Almost has him, but overextends himself. Gets taken out by Teemo. That poison. And diving on a tower for three hits. Ah yeah, blue team slowly catching up. Just as I knew they would. Just as I knew they would. You jelly? You jelly? A little bit. I think it's because um, it's more that they're not doing teamwork, or at least our team isn't. Yeah, it's small skirmishes. They small don't have the communication. Right, right. Yeah. Very true. Because there are two randoms, so Ezreal can't talk to Janna, and Nunu can't talk to anyone else except through typing. So actually, our, yeah, our Skypers are actually split across the three lanes: top, middle, and bottom. Janna's going for Teemo, the best choice. And almost. Oh, almost. wow. Wow. That was like 12 hit points. Very impressive. But not good enough. Janna's build is a tier. Okay, so you're going for. Oh. Hamster's seen. Getting shot at now. By Shen and Gameplay. Janna coming to save the day. Nice toss up. Does a quick heal. Doesn't do the pushback. Does a slow. No taunt. Flashes out. Wow. Very impressive. Yeah, well done, good save. Though. Good save. Good teamwork right there, even if we're not talking. But Swain's coming bottom. This should be interesting. I think he wants to kill. Janet's gonna teleport out, so he's gonna be handy by himself. Facing three people. Ultimates are not quite there yet. Ah, Swain misses his guess. I wonder if Hammy saw that. He probably did. Top lane! Right, boring. Okay, going away. <laughs> Full health, Darius versus Darius. Yes, I'm not watching that. Okay. Game plan going up, trying to steal blue, but they saw him, so they know he's there. Converging down, no Nunu. Nunu's AFK or waiting for something. And a strange build on Nunu. I don't agree with that build whatsoever. There we go. Game plan running away. Game plan halting and actually cleaning up very, very soundly with a help assist from Janna. Yeah, Nunu's not here. I don't know where the jungle is. So four v five. Like I said, Timo pushing bottom. Shen and Swain grabbing blue. Lux kind of stuck mid, protecting it. Can't really help out with these guys. Golem running back and forth. 
And we have three versus three ish. Two v two now. Blue was not grabbed, right? right. No, it went back. Oh. Okay. Gold, blue team up by point one. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but still, minus four right. kills. Oh no, three kills. Dies. No. And look at his health too. Always close, very close. It's like watching a Garen versus Garen battle. Um, Timo. Up, Darius. Going his thing again, 2v2. Timo's coming in to help now, going after the support instead of the AD carry. Oh, there he goes, now he's switching up. But we have a dead Shen. Good job, hamsters. Timo picking off Janna, trying to anyway. He has W? He does. He starts speeding up. Takes her out. Hamsters backed out. And I don't... Oh, yeah, their new news not here. That is so not cool. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this might be a time when Dreadlord Fluff wins the bet. That's right. Yep. No! I no! No! I don't think so. It looks like it. Oh, there we go. Flashes out. Should be safe. Doesn't look any problems. Good lockdown from... Lux, good ultimate. Shen ults in, tries to save him. Does a save. Darius jumps in, flashes him. No kills here. Ezreal ulted down, no catch. And this is a dead Lux, it looks like. Gameplay dies to Darius. Darius trying to kill Swain. Kill Swain. And clean up. 2v2 exchange. Plenty of assists to go around. Janna doing something? Oh, there we go. Slowing down the Teemo. Most likely. Do we get him? Maybe not. Nope, doesn't quite get him. Darius and Shen coming down to the Janna and Ezreal, who have extended a little bit. 3v2. I don't like it. Ezreal hops out twice. Hits, gets two hits. No team mushrooms. Gonna be safe. Janna going the long way around. Should be safe as well. Good escape for 3v2. Mid lane being pushed by Darius, who is up a few I don't know. one Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Absolutely. Deathfire Grasp on Lux. I like the choice. <laughs> Good choice there. Teemo teleporting away. Interesting Shroom's bottom lane, if you want to take a look at that. Right under the dragon. Looks like a smiley face. Or sad face, I guess. Dragon being taken. Darius going for the Deathblow. Kind of posturing on Swain. Misses with the Lux. Darius going through. Nothing's going to happen here. They're going to go down the dragon. Ooh, this should be interesting. 3v2. Yes. Yes, there it is. But they bought some time. That's that Swain. Nice. The dragon's taken. And they back out. No one sees each other. That is very interesting. Mm. I wonder what they'll be thinking when they watch <laughs> the review. Hindsight. <laughs> Swain's 1 6 on their team. Shen 0 3 with 3 assists. Alright, pretty even. I mean, like, the carries are doing well. So we have Ezreal and Lux both being nicely uh, earning gold and kills. But still, the gold leaning towards blue team because they had a tower, bottom, and a dragon. The towers, that's, that's what wins games. Oh, second tower, taken down. Blue ter uh, Darius up by two levels. Teemo running through. So I'm going to just commentate on uh, blue team, I guess. I'll just do that. And you can commentate on purple team. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's totally not going to work. <laughs> There's Teemo. Trying to go in, but uh, a little too far extended. So when I told you before not yep, to put oh. me on the spot? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally signet. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry about that. Um, she did actually not to do it, and I did it anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, Jesus. and here we go for Ezreal grabbing the race. <clears throat> and it looks pretty even. I mean, Timo did die. So poor little Timo. Poor fella. What is he building? He's still yeah. five kills up. Yeah, for purple team. Even without our Nunu, he doesn't seem to be going back <laughs> at any stage. 
blue team soon. Not so hot versus this, but I'm sure they'll they'll, they'll get in there. Shen a little under leveled, but here's an engage. We'll see how it goes. A lot of auto attacking. Darius cleaning up flank game plank. Oh Good wow! Laser. This is a few though. Wow! Melted and three v two, but purple team pulls it out even with a four v five. The team was on bottom, four v four. A good finish from Darius. Deathblow Masters. Interesting. They don't push mid, even though Timo's bottom. Hmm. Ah, that's a mistake. That is a mistake. Because there's no, there's no surprises. Gold almost even now because of that exchange. But towers not favoring purple team. Hamsters building Trinity Force. Okay. Putting Triforce. Pretty common. And... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's going to just come down to Teemo. Teemo and Darius on blue team to carry it out. Which they will. Not even a problem. So going through here little more fighting for Timo, and Sarah had to duck out. She, uh, she had to answer the door. Here we go, just more fighting in the middle. Deathblow Masters completely surrounded, but dealing crazy damage, crazy support, and finally does die. No death on blue team, but we've got a flash all the way through. But again, this is 4v5, so it's pretty difficult. Ezreal poking away at Shen, Shen cutting him through. Doesn't get pulled, but maybe a dead Ezra. We'll see. We'll see if Gangplank can get a shot. That's one shot. Doesn't die. Wow. Not a lot of damage on that. Oh. Yeah. Swain does kill Janna. And yeah. Gangplank should be building damage to kill people. But mid lane is being pushed, and that's going to be another tower down. Timo pushing bottom, plenty of farm coming up. Building it on hit, kind of, not really. I don't know, it's a weird build. I don't really like the build. They get mid tower, they back out, and Nunu's still not here. Rough game. Rough game. 4v5. So, with this, if you guys have any comments, please put them on the bottom below. If you have any suggestions of games to commentate, also let me know uh, if you see like particular matchups you want to see, like a particular champion spotlights. We will try to get our friends to play these champions. That way we can commentate while they play. It saves us time, saves you time. It doesn't save you time, it saves amount of time. But saves them time, saves me time. And I like to. So again, just on the bottom if you want to see a champion spotlighted, let me know. I'll try to get my friends to play it and we'll see what we can do. Also, if you want us to focus on certain champions more, like certain players, let us know, because otherwise we'll just focus on the three friends that are playing right now, and any other friends that play. We'll try to get more fives, that way it's a little more smooth without these random people dropping. Ahem. <coughs> you. So 4v5, pretty conservative, still. I'm surprised. At blue team. But Shen is level 9, I don't know what's going on. I think he's dying too fast, and just not getting levels because of it. Looks like a push mid, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. And then Janna has her tier. Good, she's building the tier still. And then getting a death cap. So that should be fun. Ezreal check dragon, sees that it's up. Nothing crazy. Darius pushing top. Blue is in the jungle, goes for Janna. Janna flashes out. She's gonna ult? Yes, she will ult. Saves herself. No harm. Shen taunts in, no big deal, not the heart. Darius still top farming, come in mid. Good. Tornadoes. Almost killed on Gangplank. Darius now coming in to try to clean up, but it's a little too late. But middle lane, this little back and forth. Third Darius can go down pretty easily. Totally split up. Great poke game. And this is a push where they can actually grab the tower now. So a fail push by blue, a good hold by purple team, 
where they tried to go for the Janna and they messed up and just ended up wasting their time and didn't go together. Now split up. Lux is out of mana but still has a death fire, so she can still do a significant amount of damage. That's one tower down. Will they try for a second one? We shall see. Team mode bottom lane farming. And looks like they're gonna not go for this. No, they are. Good call, good call. Could have been a dead Shen. Death Blow Master taking turret hits. Quite significant turret hits. And that's two towers. There it goes. Nice. Oh, maybe. One hit away. <laughs> Almost had it. Really should have just tried to finish it off. Try to get the gold. Even it out. Dragon's still up. Teemo reshroomed. And we'll see if he actually goes for it. He really should. Um, although he doesn't have life steal, so maybe that's why he's not doing it. Not significant life steal. Alright, so maybe blue team may... Maybe lose this. Oh, the tower goes down. That's pretty sloppy defense there. But as the game goes on, it's going to get more di more difficult with more able bodies, more people who don't die instantly. So if they can win the game 4v5, you have to win quickly. Once the game drags on, the team with 5 will end up winning just because the numbers just off pushing and people just not dying instantly really just causes problems. Right, is grabbed. Farm is being cleared throughout the jungle. Jan is slightly out of position, but she knows it, so she's hustling it out of there. Oh, oh, and she doesn't get taunted. Very nice. Shields herself, safe. Not bad, not bad. So, an interesting evade, but nothing lost. They have an idea where they are, and they're playing smart. Playing conservative, let them come in at Ew. Ezreal has his Triforce, but that's it. Doesn't have any other damage. No one's building armor. Hmm. Interesting. So it looks like their Shen's trying to aim for a Warmox. Deathblow's slightly out of position, but no big deal. You have the two Hyper Carries. He flashes out. Hmm. I don't agree with that. Should have saved that flash. Yeah, there wasn't a big deal there. Gameplay is probably going to go down. Nope, he flashes out. No big deal. And it goes back in. Shen does a nice little taunt. Gets tossed up by the wind from Janna. Janna in the back row supporting. Ezreal doing his poke game. Lux doing her poke game. And great laser. Doesn't get any kills, but definitely pushes him out of the jungle. Deathblow Master walking in. And this is where he could flash in, just grab somebody. Get a nice little kill, even up the mode. Oh, there's a shroom. Pop the shroom, and then lock down. But great chase game right now. Ezreal doing the chase here. And there is no escape moves, really, except that just has a lot of health. And there we go. So it might be a third tower. Teemo totally out of position top. Rocket straight pick with a nice kill. And a great pull from Darius. Does his ultimate, gets the kill. Ezreal also do a nice little poke game, timing out that... Hex Drinker? Was that Hex Drinker? Ah, it was Mall of Mortis. But it's 4v2... Teemo teleports back, and they don't try to push. Hmm. I guess that's fine. But, as I said before, they should try risking it. It's 4v2. They have a tower. They could do some poke games still. And, again, the more the game drags on, the harder it's going to be for blue team. I mean, purple team. And the easier it will become for blue team. Even though blue team is losing um, in some aspects of the team fights, it will get easier with time. At least, purple team can farm up. Ezreal has picked up a sort of a cult, so Hamster's being pretty greedy. Although, if you're going to go for a sort of a cult build, this you really should get it earlier. But maybe he's just doing it now because he's realizing he can actually get kills. And that he kind of has to take the gamble because Nunu is not in play anymore. You have blue team spread out. Great shroom placement by Teemo. My goodness, look at all those shrooms. I wonder if they'll try for Baron. Maybe not. But this is a fun team. When you have Ezreal plus Lux, just the double ult is just... It's too good to pass up, in all honesty. It's just way too good to pass up. Um, for steals, for just clearing a lane real fast, for getting crazy last hits on champions that are running away, it's brilliant. So if you ever get a chance to get these two together, do as, m as much as possible, because they can just lock people down, hop around, 
And here we go. So we'll see how this turns out. Darius doing great damage. So that's Death Row Master. More tosses up. Purple team doing great cleanup. Darius does go down, but he, he one now. There, Darius. I don't know what he was doing. Completely nowhere near the fight. And Darius does insane damage. So it was good that Death Row Master was right in there in the thick of it, doing as much damage as possible. He's actually teleporting out going to be out of position because he's going to be all the way back in Fountain. They're going to get plenty of hits on this tower. May end up getting the hit as well. I recommend they do it. They have 13 seconds. Shouldn't be a problem. Shen will probably ult in. Oh no, his ult's down, so they're not going to ult it. So as long as they get this little poke game, play around with Darius. Darius is chicken, which is interesting because he was so aggressive top in getting the kills. But I don't know. Well, they get the inhib. And they rush out. Going bot lane now. Good call. Do the push as they try to push back mid, and they'll have the auto pushing from the creeps, although Ezreal's not pushing bottom. I'm not sure what he's doing. Maybe he's grabbing blue. So we'll see. Five stacks on Sword of the Occult. Little team of building attack speed. Don't really agree with that. Swain already has his Athena... Athenas? Is that Athenas? Athenes? Unholy Grail, the new item. Um, makes sense on Swain. Uh, but yeah. See this? This Ezreal could have helped on very easily. And that was just an easy take instead of this very awkward running back and forth and too risky. Far, far too risky. But they get it. Now this is a little chase game. Ezreal is hopping in. Misses the shroom, no big deal. Lux hits a shroom, kinda slow, kinda seen. Gets taunted. Flash taunted and nice alt from Jenna. Buy some time. Flash in from Teemo, Ezreal cleaning up, 3v2, we'll see if Janet can do another save with her little wind. Darius coming off from the left side, and does a little clean up. Oh, it's not, sorry, wrong one, Darius coming straight down. The other Darius coming from the back side, we'll see if they see him, they see him, good. Interesting, gets pulled in, and good timing from Death Row Masters on his ultimate. So, 3v1 again. And honestly, they could have just pushed. They could push this. I guess they were scared of Swain, but Swain is scared of them. And rightly so. Myth getting pushed automatically. So really, they could just push this all the way down or try to run top, but uh, really no need and try to get that one. But instead, they go back and do the little shopping. And they're new-new. I don't understand this build. Even if he was here. Strange, strange build. Running through here, well, I guess it kind of makes sense with the auto attacking and stuff, but going through here, Ezreal, 10 stacks, halfway there to the 20. Dragon is up, we'll see who grabs it first, Janna clearing bottom lane, good. Mid is still auto pushing, and again, the less you start pushing the side lanes, the less useful this auto push mid is being to, because it's grabbing people, forcing people to the mid. Ezreal found Teemo, or is Timo has, they found each other. Lux coming in, does a nice little lockdown, great range, and good alt, and that is one dead Timo. Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, shrooms. Shrooms. Oh, almost got the catch. That was very close. Very, very close. But not quite. Get some nice shroom placement, some dodging. Darius coming in here. Deathbow Master is going to a nice initiate. The turret's gone, they're safe. It. 4v4, Teemo hops out of there, 4v3, top lane being pushed, bottom lane, Darius has to come all the way down here, he really shouldn't have to, but he is, good lockdown by Lux, great shield, toss ups all around, good poking, really really good poking, Ezreal backed out, trying to get some heals on some minions, and creeps, and great finish from Lux, picked out the swing. Going through here, Darius and Janna still pushing through. Teemo coming off the left, so the right side. And drops a little shroom. Great pull from Darius. That thing has incredible range. Still very tanky. Good shield from Janna. Janna getting harassed by Gangplank. Darius still running in, doing as much as he can, finishing it off. Finishes off. Well, that true damage is insane. First thing is the skills. Refresh is cooled. The cooldown's refreshed, sorry. And goes for harassing Gangplank. A good choice. Just gotta be careful not to do too much as this auto push is happening. Auto push goes through. Darius can go in and finish off Gameplank if he so wishes. 
going in now, a little late, but goes through, has his ultimate still, as he actually finishes up, and there's the finish. Very nicely done, and we have the heals and all of the shielding. And really, they can just push this again, they really can. Lux has blue rune, Darius has half health, Janet's doing perfectly fine. Uh, a blind ultimate from Lux. Ezreal is just clearing the area. And right, this is 4v5, ladies and gentlemen. And doing perfectly well. Out leveling significantly. Shen is still level 12. And then, therefore, it's level 17. So you do share experience better, which is what the whole point of it is. And you just can't let them reach level 12. You have to kill them before that time happens. Still pushing top lane, holding it out. And this is a good choice. I really don't think they should back out, but they are kind of don't like that, unless they're trying to go for Baron, but they don't even go for Baron. Mm. And now blue hit inhib is respawned, and now you don't have that auto push, and that, I think, was an error. But we'll see. They've been doing well, even against my wishes of blue team winning, um, just for sport. But we'll see. We will see. And Darius, this Darius, building this build, the tank build, um... Not necessary. You don't need to build Garen. Because he is not Garen. He is the anti Garen. He just tears everything up. So if you look at No, oh, similar build. Okay, never mind then. I'm more of a fan of Bloodthirster and heavier attack damage items. But to each his own. Now Deathblow Master has his Guardian Angel, so it's a little more safe. And we'll see how that plays out. Jungle's being cleared. The big ticket items, both Baron and Dragon, are up and neither team has really pressed for it, and I really think Purple Team could have gotten it. Down by 4k gold, and I think Sarah's still at her, uh, her prior engagement, as it were. But Dithelmaster wailing on the inhib after <coughs> pushing it up here. Blue Team split up, not sure what to do, totally uncoordinated. Here's Timo going in by himself in the back, not sure what that's about. Now there are stacked five in the mid versus three. Lux is pushing top. Good ult from Gangplank forces. Some pushes and flashes. And this is where it is a mess. So that split push, when you have that kind of split push with that many people, not a good idea. Don't split push. Stay together. They were doing great when they were stacking, staying together. Lux doing lockdowns and ults. But now you have five still up on blue team. And two up the two carries from purple. So yeah. So when you are doing that, don't make it worse for yourself. Definitely stack five, stack four, run in there, and if you're the better players, beat them out. And now they are leveling up quite significantly. Almost there at level 18 for some of them. We'll see what blue team decides to do. They may try to go for Baron after pushing mid. But in doing so, Purple Team will know this, and both the ultimate champions are still up. They are starting it. There they go. Purple did ward it. They still have... Hmm, can't see the timing. Oh, there it is. There's the timing. So they have a good amount of time. They have a scene, and we'll see how they time out their ults. And here they go. They should start it now. Great steal. Great steal. So they steal it. Everyone has Baron buff now. They're weakened. Pretty demoralized. But here's the problem. They're split up. So Janna's split up from Lux. Ezreal's in the back. And no one knows what's going on. But blue team is in such a chaotic state of just running away that it actually works. Which is kind of funny. Teemo has no health. So we shall see. Mid is being auto-pushed already. Ezreal's going to blue rune, looks like, to grab that. Not really necessary at this point. I mean, it's nice to clear out the jungle, but clear it out after you do the push, because you have Baron. But it looks like they're going to go for Dragon, maybe. Dragon slash bottom lane push. Yep, looks like that. I can agree to that. That makes sense. So much health on Darius. Look at that. Look at the health. So here they go, grabbing Dragon, pushing bottom lane. Everyone's level 18 on purple team, blue team, Shen still running on level 14, he's just terribly underleveled. Keeps on dying too early. And has a war mugs, just doesn't have the other the other things. Janna going back to shop. 
And this is where the momentum kind of died, right? They had the momentum right here, right in the middle. They were ready to go and decided to just farm out. Instead, in my opinion, push out top lane, since it was almost pushed. Push it here. Beat them on the Thahib. And if you're losing or need a backup, then go for the dragon. Then get the blue rune. Because they're not coming to that anyway. And now this is a complete reset. So all that momentum completely lost. But they still have Baron. And yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky. Very tricky. I don't agree with that play, but again, it's 4v5, so playing more conservatively makes sense. But as I said, and just keep on saying it again, if you're under a man, but you're doing well, be aggressive, stack f four people up, and just take out the towers. That's how you win. It's not killing champions, it's making sure you kill the inhibs, because then you get the auto-pushing. Ezreal farming up some more, has 10 stacks still, hasn't gotten picked up any new kills. But up by three towers, and what was that? About 5k gold? Yeah, doing that math. Not not doing so hot on Pushing mid, not sure why. But looks like they're trying to go around, it seems. But they're pushing mid, really should just push top. Or bottom, I mean bottom's the easy one, that one's just all by itself. Make it even. <coughs> as well as grabbing blue. So yeah, this this is a standstill. I think they liked when they were getting pushed on, and that you know blue was overextending, and then blue got annihilated. So they're just relying on that too much and wanting them to push. But you can't. You have Baron. You have to be on the aggressive now because they're backing up. Team was slightly out of position, but not a big deal. Shen comes in, taunts, but out of position with Ezreal, and this is where Shen might get a little obliterated. Good ultimate from game playing. Splits up the terrain. Darius pulls in Darius. Good ultimate from Lock and Lockdown. Great ultimate from Janet to push out and just kind of just push her away. Ezra does a nice little cleanup. And interesting enough, that waiting worked out. And that team, the blue team, really shouldn't have gone out. When, you're, when they have Baron, just sit on defense. Wait for your inhibit to come up. But here comes the push. Four man push, most likely will grab top lane, then we'll just quickly kill the inhibitor. And they may or may not end up winning the game at this point, so we shall see. Tower's gone very quickly through. Going for the middle inhib, as I said before. Can't grab the bottom inhib, not a big deal though. They may end up going all the way, they better. Because you have 40 seconds game plank, 30 seconds on Teemo, 11 seconds on Shen, which is useless, and Swain, which, who's been losing so much. But here it is, nice little cleanup. And that will most likely be a good game. Well, so thank you for watching. Sorry if if you were looking for Sarah the whole time because uh, can't blame you. But good games all around. 1640, great carries, great scores. Thanks for watching. 4v5 and great dancing for from Ezreal. Have a good one.